You need speed and nerves of steel to drive away with the trophy at the Indy 500. Now, if you were wondering whether or not Rob has what it takes, uh, we're going to go back to the Brickyard to find out. I'm thinking that Rob passed with flying colors. I was Rob, never wondering. You, you, you would, there was never any wondering. We, we had complete confidence in you. But how'd you do? How do you feel? Uh, I feel okay. I mean, I survived, but I failed miserably <laughs> at everything else. All for the all for the good of our viewers, guys. This is Americana at its finest. A Memorial Day weekend tradition for a hundred years now. Some of the fastest drivers in the world have been coming to this track, two and a half uh, miles around. They race 200 laps at over 200 miles an hour. These drivers and these fans, they feel the need for speed. The Indianapolis 500, 300,000 cheering fans, 33 drivers, and breakneck speeds up to 240 miles per hour. It's the greatest spectacle in racing, the Indy 500, baby. And this year, I got a front row seat to all the action. <laughs> so a driver can only be as fast as his car and the team behind him. So we're about to find out what it really feels like to be in the pits. <laughs> I don't know if I'm cut out for this. Go, go. The pros changed tires in just 11 seconds. After a little practice, I finished in 15. Go, go. Yep, yep, that's a tire change. Getting a ride with a legend, that's more fun. I'm about to ride with the Mario Andretti. Now you lean back and relax. Relax. Yep. No way. <laughs> Greatest thrill of my life. How fast were we going? How fast did you take me? I always tell everybody, two, three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> we went 300 miles an hour. What's special about Indy for you? It's been here over 100 years. It's hard to really compare, you know, the tradition, the rich tradition. You want to put this one under your belt, you know, and then everything else seems lighter. And right, now you got to drink the whole thing in once. There it is, a court signed by Mario Andretti. The question is, who will drink this sweet milk in victory lane on Sunday? That is the tradition, and good luck to Mario's grandson, Marco, in the race today, and all the other drivers that will be uh, competing. Uh, it was a thrill of a lifetime for me. It's like riding a rocket ship on wheels. These guys are like fighter pilots, and like pilots, they actually train now in these multi-million dollar simulators. I got to try one out yesterday, made by uh, Delara. It, it gives you all the sensations that an IndyCar driver would feel around the track, except hitting the wall, which I did after about four laps. So I have a whole new appreciation uh, for what these guys do and, and these cars. And you'll get it too as you watch ABC's coverage, which begins today at 11 a.m. The green flag drops at 1220 for the greatest spectacle in racing. That is the Indy 500. Dan Apollo, back up to you. Oh, and Rob had like the best day of his life Ever. yesterday. Rob, thank you very much. Yes. Great job out there. 15 seconds. I know, 15, 15 seconds. seconds. to change that tire. <clears throat> Way to go, Rob. I got a lot of work I need done around the house, Rob. I'm going <laughs> to call you later when you get back here. Um, <laughs>